really, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm focused on my other guy, so I'm really not, I haven't, I, I talked to him like maybe three weeks ago or whatever, but it's like, and we talk like for Frank and, you know, mm-hmm. Tank or whatever, but mm-hmm. it's like, you know, you just gotta focus on like, everybody, you can't look back. That's the issue, everybody keep looking back, right? Mm-hmm. And you can't look, you can't move forward and looking back, you know, bump into everything that's in front of you. Yeah. You know, that's, I mean, I, I have a, you know, he, mentally, I guess he's okay. I think that, you know, um, you know, everybody still want it. Right then they still want it, at least still want it, you know what I mean? I think that, I believe that when you, when you do your deal, and it's like, hey man, when the song starts singing, you gotta, hey, that's up to him. I'm not involved in that. I mean, like the fighters fight who they want to fight. You know what I mean? I don't. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Uh, this. I would say this. If you're gonna fight, I would think that would be the fight to fight. Because I mean, you know, if you're gonna fight, that's what I would think. Because I mean, because just like you know, nobody else. You know, you can move in another direction, but you know, finish that deal out. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Derry James, two time trainer of the year, well renowned trainer, future Hall of Famer, Derry James, trainer of Errol the True Spence Jr., Jamel Charlo, Frank the Ghost Martin. Uh, he was training Anthony Joshua, and he now trains Ryan Garcia. With that said, Derrick James has been in the headlines for reasons other than his April 20th showdown fight for his fighter, Ryan Garcia, or his June 15th showdown for his other fighter, Frank the Ghost Martin. It's been in the headlines for his original fighter, and that's Errol the True Spence Jr., who he started with. And there was reports that Errol Spence and Derrick James, they had parted ways, right? Uh, and Errol Spence, he put up a cryptic post on social media that said he got to find a new home. And uh, somebody else put up a post and alluded to Derrick James and Errol Spence splitting up. And Errol Spence liked the post, which got people uh, immediately buzzing about it because they've been together forever. So Derrick James did an interview. Shouts out to Cigar Talk. Um, and he did an interview with, with Cigar Talk. And in the interview he did with, with Cigar Talk, uh, he stated that, you know, uh, he addressed that he is focused on his current fighters right now, as he's supposed to, right? Which is uh, Frank Martin has a massive fight coming up where he's going to be a big underdog, and that's against Javante Tank Davis, okay? And um, Another fight is Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia has a massive fight coming up April 20th against Devin the Dream Haney, right? Uh, and he stated that, you know, uh, he's focused on his upcoming fighters. He's focused on his other fighters. And uh, everybody, because we saw that Errol Spencer's um, gym bags is not there, his heavy bags is not there, his posters is not there, it looks like he has left, right? And the fact that he put up this post saying that he got to find a new home, he was actually leaving the PBC. He said no. Somebody put up a post uh, uh, hinting at him and Derrick James leaking, leaving, spot, putting, splitting ways, and he liked it. So, you know, uh, that garnished people to get to speculating. Uh, and it said that he's suing Derrick James, is suing Errol Spence over money's old, right? Okay. So, with that said, and I, people, sources that I reached out to said there's friction. There's, there's some issues going on there. There is. So there's, uh, uh, there is um, legitimacy to this. But with that said, Derrick James had this interview with Cigar Talk and everybody started sending me these videos and they like, see, uh, they haven't talked because it said that Derrick James and Errol Spence hadn't had a conversation since July 29th, Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena showdown where Errol Spence suffered the first loss of his career, losing to... Um, Terrence Bud Crawford, the biggest fight of his career for uh, in an undisputed welterweight showdown, right? And Errol Spence came up short drastically. He got dropped in the second round twice in the seventh and stopped in the ninth, surprisingly, right? Uh, and so it was said that since then they hadn't spoken. Well, Derrick James has now stated that 
they have spoken three weeks ago, but they only spoken because Errol Spence's fighter, Man Down Promotions, he promotes Frank Martin, right? They share the same trainer, but he promotes Frank Martin. So Derrick James, he stated that I spoke to Errol Spence three weeks ago, but it was only about uh, Frank Martin and Javante Tank Davis, which is a mega fight for Frank Martin, June 15th, right? Uh, and said so he said that uh, he's focused on his other fighters as he's supposed to. So what he said didn't, to me, confirm any issues with him and Errol Spence. It didn't confirm that they won't be back together. It just confirmed that he's doing what he's supposed to as a trainer, focus on his other fighters. Errol Spence is not fighting. Errol Spence lost in July. He's not fighting. He got to focus on Frank Martin, who is in the, going in the biggest fight of his career. He got to focus on Ryan Garcia, who is going in the second biggest fight of his career. But if he comes up short again, that can spell the end of his career. So he has to focus on those fighters, right? It's only right. Uh, and, um, you know, then he stated that he wants the rematch for Errol Spence. If he's going to continue to fight, he wants Errol Spence to rematch Terrence Crawford. He said, it's only right that we finish the deal and close out the deal. So there you have it. And he didn't confirm that they have, uh, uh, that they are splitting and, and that they won't be together. He just confirmed that, listen, you know, um, right now, you know, we haven't talked. That's not the focus, period. And that's all I got for y'all, man. Uh, yeah, let me get a, um, a oat milk shaken espresso. Sure, what size? Uh, venti. You got anything else? Just little ice. Okay, did you want an extra oat milk in that? Uh, yeah, I guess. Alright, Thank you. So you know, um, it didn't confirm that he and Errol Spence are having issues, and you know, uh, because I know many people sent me this 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 interview, and uh, this interview was done before we started hearing all of this uh, uh, turmoil. Now I knew about the non-talking part, but you know, um, this just confirms that he's focused on his other other fighters as he's supposed to be period right so that's all i got for y'all man make sure you hit the like button drop a comment in the comment section let me know what y'all think y'all already know what it is it's your boy blue blue blood sports tv hate like comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications follow me on instagram at blue blood sports tv all in one word that's all i got for y'all i'm gone peace